What is going on guys, this is Rogue Terror 94 back again, once again, with Jurassic World Evolution, and of course, just like last time, I've posted too close to another news drop, so I'm having to scramble to make another video, which, you know, it's fine, I'm glad to have something to do, but this one's special. We finally got information on Nublar, so we're just going to jump right into that right off the bat. So Isla Nublar is a confirmed sandbox mode for Jurassic World Evolution. I'm so freaking excited about it, guys. I'm, I kind of knew, I kind of expected that to be the case because it doesn't make sense to go through the game making parks on every island just for Isla Nublar to be the exact same way. They, they wouldn't keep it a secret like that. And I really didn't think they would bring original Jurassic Park assets into the game because that, that requires new models for um, basically everything. Money is not an issue for uh, Isla Nublar. It's not going to be. It's a sandbox mode, of course. So if you wanted to, you could do like Site B from Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. Just let the dinosaurs run free. Or, or you could recreate Jurassic World. You could recreate the events of Jurassic World uh, using the Indominus or as best as you can in any case, right? Uh, there's also a theory going around, and I've seen a couple fans talk about this, and to me, it, it makes somewhat sense for this to be the case. Um, they, they talk about how Nublar could have a night and day cycle, which, uh, let me explain the processing um, and why I think this could be the case. I, obviously, there's more chance of it not being the case, but it could work. Yeah, Nublar being the sandbox mode, the end-all be-all for you, basically. It would make sense for Nublar to basically throw everything the game has at you. You know, th this is a place where you can experience everything at once. And I, I don't, I don't know. I, for some reason, it just it makes sense to me for a full night and day cycle to be implemented for Nublar, just Nublar. Okay, obviously not the other ones. But I don't know, I just, it, it works. It really does. The next bit of information which we got, which so many people wanted to know, is if Fallen Kingdom would have DLC for the game. And it does. It has a free DLC update. We're not exactly sure when it's going to come out. Um, if it's going to come out beforehand or if it'll launch when the movie does. I'm guessing the latter, because that makes more sense. But the list of dinosaurs, the list of new dinosaurs to show up for Fallen Kingdom are as such... Carnotaurus, Cynoceratops, Baryonyx, Stigimoloch, Allosaurus, Compsognathus, which I wouldn't hold my breath for, and of course, the, Indo uh, the Indoraptor. I almost called it the Indominus Rex. That one's dead. So, those are the newest dinosaurs that are showing up in Fallen Kingdom, that we know of, that have been confirmed, of course. So, excluding Compsognathus, um, that's six dinosaurs. That's perfect. That's a perfect number for a DLC update. It really is. And I think we're going to get all those, including Indoraptor. So we'll see what goes on with that. Which ones are you most excited for? Personally, I'm excited for Allosaurus. I don't know why. I just have an affinity for that dinosaur. And I always have. Allosaurus was one of the, one of the first dinosaurs I saw outside of T-Rex. You know, uh, in terms of... Uh, dinosaurs not related to Jurassic Park. I watched Walking with Dinosaurs, and Allosaurus was one of those first. I also have a few other dinosaurs. I, I love all dinosaurs, but if I had to choose one, right, out of this list, it would be Allosaurus. Mostly because I'm surprised he wasn't in the, or she, wasn't in the, um, the base game to begin with. I don't know. I guess the I guess they wanted to save it all, but we got a look at the Carnotaurus in game, and it's all right. There are a lot of people that are excited about it. I think the model needs work. The arms are definitely not right, and the model it doesn't look like the screen used uh, model, at least from what we've seen from the trailers. It, it looks more um, anemic, I guess you would say. It, do it doesn't look so heavily built. But I, I'm guessing there there's a little bit more work to be done. But that's, yeah, that's it, guys. Hopefully I don't release this video and then more information drops today because that's my life. But I'm guessing tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, Monday, we could be getting more information because IGN just likes to be that way, I suppose. We'll find out. Anyway, guys, if you liked the video, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.